all IRIX guy here and I've got the A7 III and I'm going to move around in front of my green screen. Several of you asked, they're like, hey man, you know, Sony's got all these super duper high end camcorders like the FS5, the FS7. They've got all these super duper high end camcorders. You know, I need interchangeable lens. I'm primarily going to do green screen. But how does something more affordable like the A7 III perform in a, in a studio environment such as this with a green screen. So within this video, I'm going to show you the A7III's performance with green screen. And throughout this video, I'll flash up various backdrops and pay attention to, uh, to how sharp or how poor the edges are when I start to chroma key. As you can see, I'm wearing gray. I don't have anything in my clothing that is this green color. That's something with green screen. If, you, if you're wearing something that's the same or very similar color, your green screen effect may fail. Also, you know, you can check the link within this video's description to find the, uh, the equipment that I'm using for this particular A7 III green screen test. It is worth mentioning, I am filming with an F2 aperture. I'm using a 25 millimeter lens but I do have it kicked into Super 35 mode, so APS-C. So the, this 25 millimeter lens is gonna look more zoomed in because I'm, I'm filming in uh, APS-C mode. I do have a big Maine Coon cat, Sean Coonery, arguably the most famous cat in the world, or I'll go as far as the universe. So he's joining this presentation. So again, check the link within this video's description. You can find the 25 millimeter lens that I'm using right now. Obviously, the A7 III camera body, the lavalier microphone that I'm using, and a whole lot more. Also, within this video's description, you can find a link to my green screen how-to. Everything from my studio setup to the lighting that I use. It's worth mentioning I've got a light over here, I've got a light over here, and then I have a key light in front of me. And I am filming in autofocus, so check that out my little camera remote, autofocus, F2 aperture. This A7 III has continued to blow my mind in the field. And in response to your questions, well, how does it perform in the studio? Is it good for green screening? I want to green screen on a budget, but I still want to get pro quality results. Is that what can be achieved with this camera? You know, you tell me, you're the viewers, you're watching this. I'm just sharing this video to show you what I'm able to do with it. Now again, I don't consider myself to be a professional. I'm a somewhat uh, small YouTube channel, only at approximately 41 million video views at the time of posting this, but you know, I'm on a constant quest to always improve my video quality, to always improve my audio quality, and most importantly, have fun while continuing the, uh, the journey. So any questions that you may have, you know, ask. And if I, if I can, I'll try to respond face on video. This video, for example, A7 III green screen performance, this was a response to y'all's questions. It's like, hey man, how does the A7 III perform in front of a green screen? Well, this is my test. I'm gonna move around a little bit. Again, using autofocus, it should start to focus on my hand and this, that, and the other, but how does the background look? You know, is the background getting wonky? How are the edges? Does this look real? Does this look fake? Obviously, all the background clips that you're seeing are clips that I've filmed in the past. So uh, that's something I also recommend if you're uh, if you're if you're getting into chroma key and green screening. Anytime you have the opportunity to put a camera on a tripod and let it sit for five or 10 minutes and record a, an environment, it's amazing how valuable those clips will probably become in the future because these clips that I'm flashing up, these are clips that I filmed and I'm like, you know what? Cool environment. I can use it for green screen backdrop. I can use it for, uh, you know, for whatever purposes I may, may need these types of videos for. So again, always good to toss a camera on a tripod, you know, just really dial in that, uh, that focus. I'd preferably 
once you've dialed it in, set it to manual focus and capture those backdrops so that you can use those for green screen backdrops in the future. But I just want to know your thoughts about the performance. Again, A7 III F2 aperture, 25 millimeter lens, autofocus. And I get a smile on my face every time I say autofocus because autofocus on this camera, on this A7 III, is absolutely outstanding. So that's, that's the best part, being able to do this without a film crew, being able to, to move an object closer to the camera and still have that awesome focus. Something I could not achieve with my previous A7R2. It was a great camera, but it was nothing in comparison to the A7 III. And the, the humorous part about that is, is that uh, A7 III is a base model camera. And this thing is a stellar performer. I mean, I'm Sean Coonery sitting down here on the studio table. He's like, he's like, yeah, man, that camera makes everybody look good. Look at this. Let me bring him up. Urgh. He said, yeah, let's see this fur detail. Oh, oh, heavy. He's probably in the way of my microphone now. Big Maine Coon. Oh, oh, enormous. So, yeah, it'd be interesting. Uh, I'm already excited at the time of filming this to hear your feedback because this is a test. I mean, I'm not on this channel. I'm not one of those. And there's a lot of people that, that are good people and they, and they go to all of this. And again, there's a video style for everyone. There would be people that would share a video such as this and they would have all of these specifications flying by and, and they'd be talking about this, that, and the other. And I like to keep it simple. And you know, I, I like to keep it simple and focus upon showing you what you may be able to achieve as well. Again, light in front of me, a key light, lights beside me, camera on tripod, 25 millimeter lens, F2 aperture. And if you're curious about any of those settings for the A7 III, you know, shoot me a message. And um, if I don't have a tutorial video, you can check out my website. I've got a growing list of Sony a7 III tutorial videos. But if there's something in particular that you're curious about that I haven't addressed, you know, shoot me a message and I'll try to whip up a video. Also, anything with green screening. I've got a lot of uh, green screen tutorial videos already on my YouTube channel and my website. But if there's a specific question that you have that I haven't addressed, ask me and I'll try to whip up a video. Because this stuff this green screening, this chroma keying, by the way, those terms are used interchangeably if you haven't figured that out. It's, to summarize, to get convincing green screen results, number one, lighting is super important. I would say lighting is, is number one importance. Number two, I would say would be excellent video quality. And a lot of that is achieved by the lens. So just because someone may go out and buy a super duper high end camcorder, that doesn't mean that that super duper high end camcorder would trump the performance of a less expensive camera body, but a very nice lens attached to that camera body. So in this scenario, obviously I've got a, and it's still expensive, but a, a base model full frame camera body with a super high end 25 millimeter lens. So a lot of this, again, lighting, the lens, and then audio and video quality is right up there. I mean, if you've, got, if you've got poor audio quality, it's probably going to destroy people's perceptions of your video. For example, now in the studio, in a somewhat small studio, you know, Iris Guys Adventure Channel is a growing channel. We don't have a big studio yet. I wish I had a big room where I could run around and do all kinds of cool stunts in front of a green screen, but I don't. But if you want to support my channel, check the link within this video's description. You can support our Skies Adventure channel on Patreon. But for right now, it is what it is. And being in a confined space, 
using this lavalier mic is crucial because if I was using my my external microphone, my shotgun style microphone, I would be I would probably be getting echo off of the wall. So you may hear a little bit of echo from my lavalier, but it's probably not as pronounced as it would be with uh, with a shotgun mic. So external audio is key, whether you're using lavalier or shotgun mic, in-camera audio is, is usually very poor, very poor quality. So audio is important. So you know, get you get you a good audio capture device. Check the link within this video's description. I'm going to post a, uh, at the time of filming this video, I haven't posted it yet, but I'm going to do a, uh, a walkthrough on a, an affordable pro audio on a budget. And a common misconception that people have is that, man, I, I got to buy this microphone. I got to attach it to my camera. How do I attach it to my camera? That's the long, the incorrect way to think about it. And I used to think the same thing, but what you've got to do is simply use your camera's internal audio as reference. So regardless of what you're recording your pro quality audio with, if it's in close proximity of the camera that's filming you, you can synchronize your externally recorded pro audio with your camera's poor quality audio and then mute the camera's poor quality audio, leaving only the pro quality audio that was recorded, recorded externally within your video. So that's how I do it. That's how I'm doing this. This lavalier mic is just plugged into a recorder in my pocket, not connected to the camera in any way whatsoever. So that's the topic for another discussion. Again, this video was just all about the, uh, the green screen performance that one may be able to achieve with the a7 III. So I welcome your questions. I welcome your feedback. I have a good time doing this. Again, Irish Guys Adventure Channel, uh, right around... 59,000 subscribers, and right around 41 million video views at the time of filming this. So there's a ton of room for growth. You know, I'm one of the smaller YouTube channels, but I want to grow. And it's, it's stuff like green screen performance and audio quality that enables a channel to grow. So tell me what you think. Be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash iRickSky. Follow me on all social media, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course, YouTube. And check the link within this video's description. Check me out on Patreon if you choose to support my channel. Again, it's not required. You can support my channel by way of Patreon. Other ways you can support my channel is simply liking this video, subscribing, sharing with others. You know, Check the link within this video's description to find all the camera equipment, the microphones, and a whole lot more. Appreciate your viewership, and y'all have a good day. Hey, y'all. I, Rick Sky here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe like and share it's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow thank you